came by this pool yesterday and put in about six pounds of sodium bicarb. I wanted to raise the alkalinity at around 120 and get that pH up a little bit because I'm going to knock it back down to about 90 on the alkalinity and that's going to put my pH probably around somewhere between 6, 7, 6, 9 thereabouts. And then what I'm going to do is turn on these waterfalls right here. Turn on the water features. Turn on that spa over there. And what that's going to do, it's going to raise my pH back up to where I want it. Around 7.5 is where I'm going to stop it. And uh, it will not affect my alkalinity. So let's get to it. Let's take some readings of the alkalinity right now. And let's take some readings of the pH to find out where we're at from yesterday. From the 6 pounds of sodium bicarb in a 14,000 gallon pool. Alright, let's get to it. Okay, let's test our alkalinity and let's see what we got going here. Again, I use a plunger. It gives me the exact amount that I'm going to need. So I get an exact reading. Now, if I figured this pool to 14 gallons, like I thought, I should come up with uh, around 120 on the alkalinity. So let's see what we got. Another two drops. One, two, three. There are five drops. Now let's go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. There's 100, 110, 120. So, so it came from a, a 90 yesterday to 120, and let's see what our pH, uh, pH is going to be here. pH yesterday was 7.8. So let's see what we got here. Hopefully you can... See that? That's an 8.0. -oh. We got an 8.0. So our pH came two points up. So our alkalinity did come up by 30, and our pH by two points. So now we're gonna have to figure out how much acid we're gonna need to drop that back down to 90, and that should give me a pH somewhere around. Six seven, six eight, though in that area. Okay, now the way I would figure out the acid that I need to put into this pool is by doing some calculations here. Now we know acid is 2.56 ounces for one ppm in a 10,000 gallon pool. So the way we would do that again is we would take 14,000 gallon pool divided by 10,000, but that's going to give us a 1.4. So we go 1.4 times the amount we want to take it down. We're going to take it down again by 30. So let's go times 30 times our 2.56. That gives us 107 ounces of acid. So almost a gallon. So let's go ahead and, and dump that into the pool. And then we'll come back um, probably about three or four hours after that's done its thing. Pool circulating, get that acid around into the pool. And we'll come back and we'll take some more readings. And then we'll start aerating the system here and to bring back up that pH and I'll take readings about every 15 minutes and uh, and to show you guys that aeration will raise pH only and not affect the alkalinity. All right, thanks. Okay, so let's get started on uh, doing this pH here and dropping this stuff down, dropping that alkalinity down, dropping the pH down. So again, we need about 100, 107 ounces. The way we can do this is just pouring some acid here. This is a full gallon. So we'll go in, we'll dump about 40 ounces right there and get this acid moving around.
about another 40 or so 50 ounces here to put in a little bit more all right that's about 107 ounces again move that acid around don't let that acid just go to the bottom and sit there so this is how i do it just moves it around the pool really good we don't have to worry about it worry about it going down to the bottom there and just sitting and creating a problem all right so now what we'll do is we'll let this pool sit for about three hours with the equipment on get the acid in there around into the pool and we'll come back and check out what our readings are okay it's been about two and a half hours i'm back at the pool right now and we're going to take some readings on the pool so let's get to that all right let's get some readings on the pool here let's get the alkalinity first Two drop seven. Five drops of eight. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, ninety. 90 alkalinity. And let's go pH here. Six point eight eight. 6.867, yeah, that's about right. Uh, 6.83, okay, so we figured that out about right. Now we've got a 6.8 pH, we've got a 90 alkalinity, and now we're gonna get the pH back up by using the spa and using these waterfalls over here, these water features, all right, and so, let me go turn those on and I'll be right back. Okay, got the spa going. We'll get the water features going. I'm going to be testing this about every 15 minutes. I'm going to test it to see where we're at on the pH. Okay, so here we go here. Spa. And we have our water features. Okay, I'll get back to you in about 15 minutes. Okay, let's go with the time. We got 12.35 on the time right now. Okay, here we are about 20 minutes later. Not much going on in the pool right now because uh, it's a bigger body of water. But the spa, I got a 7.1 so far out of the spa. Because um, as you can see, the spa is a lot smaller body of water. You got a lot more going on right there. So we came up from a 6.8 to a 7.1 in the spa in about 20 minutes. We came up a little bit in the pool, but. Uh, not a lot. I mean, maybe a few, few little points here and there, like a, a six eight, and what was it like six eight three, and, and then we came up to maybe a six eight eight. So we're, we're getting there in the pool, um, just a little bit longer since obviously it's a bigger body of water. But we'll check it again in, in another twenty minutes. And right now it is twelve fifty five. Okay, we're about three hours into this, so. Let's go get a reading on the spa since I know that'll come up a lot faster. Pool, 
No, I don't know. I'm, I'm still saying maybe 7-3 on the pool, but I don't know. We'll see. But anyways, let's go get a reading of the spot and then see what's up. All right, what do we got? Yeah, it's not bad. 7.4, 3. On the spa, 7.43 on the spa. Now you got to figure you're going down to 6.8, and when you're down that low, it's going to take a, a lot more to get this water up to where it should be. Pool, 7.1, 7.14, 7 7.13 in the pool. So, and that's three hours. Um, since we're doing really good in the spa, I'm gonna go ahead and just get the alkalinity reading on the spa so we can see and, and verify it with the spa. Because it's gonna take entirely too long for this pool. It's probably gonna take another three hours, four hours for this pool to come up. And, um, and I don't wanna do that to these people, you know? It's like gonna be in the backyard all day long. So I'm gonna use the spa instead, since that is already up to um, almost 7.5. So let's check that spa, alkalinity, and let's see if it's still at 90. All right, let's do it. Okay, so let's check out the alkalinity of the spa. And let's see if we're still at 90. Okay. Two drop seven. Now I wipe this down every single time because when you get the bigger drops out of here, that's because there's static around this uh, this top right here, the tip, and that's going to put in too much reagent. So that's going to give you a, a wrong reading. So if you notice you're getting that kind of stuff, wipe down the tip, and then you wipe off that stack. Then you got one, two, three, four, five, and we got here 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. 80 is 90 and we're at 90 so there you go and there you go you can raise pH through aeration and not affect your alkalinity and uh, I just wish I had more time for the pool here uh, to get that up but you know we really don't and it's not fair to the customer so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Shut this down. Probably end up putting some soda ash in here to get that up a little bit and uh, and then call it a day. All right. Well, we just proved that you can raise pH through aeration and it will not affect your alkalinity. All right. Good deal. Have a good one. Bye.